Uh, just thank God for this opportunity to pray. You know, it humbles ourselves before God. It reminds us who he is and who we are. <laughs> so uh, grateful for you all being here. I know it's not the most popular thing, but um, when we humble ourselves and pray, God said he will heal our land. And I'm looking for God to forgive us and to heal our land. And thank you, Joyce, for that prayer, uh, that heartfelt prayer that touched my heart. <laughs> uh, I, I thank you for, uh, for that and hearing your voice and uh, adding to this prayer tonight. So uh, we will continue to lift each other up because it is um, it's, there are times where we, you know, are not sure what's happening. <laughs> it's not the surest of times. That's right. That's right. <laughs> it's the truth. <laughs> it is not the surest of times. But, you know, God is still in control. Uh, he can give, give us that blessed assurance to know that regardless uh, of what happens, that he knows, he knows what is going to happen. <laughs> so we put our trust and our faith and our hope uh, in him. Uh, so we're grateful for uh, uh, God being our assurance in the times that we live in. Well, uh, appreciate you all being here tonight as we begin uh, Bible study. Looks like the um, <clears throat> I have been passed the baton for the month of October. <laughs> try my best to get out of it. Uh, the uh, ministers wouldn't let, wouldn't allow me. We hold each other accountable. They said, well, you going October. <laughs> so, but I thank God for the opportunity to preach and to teach. Uh, that I don't take it lightly. Uh, so, um, this, for the month of October, I hope to, um, God has just laid it on my heart to just do more of a Bible study uh, uh, when it comes to the composition of the Bible, when it comes to the make of the Bible, when it comes to just our knowledge of the Bible. Some of us may are new believers and may not know a whole lot. Some of us may be seasoned, but we know a lot about the Bible. So some of us, this is new. Some of this, it will be review. But I hope that we can uh, just at least um, learn something that we've never known within this uh, study this month. Um, and um, <laughs> I talked to my wife about it and she said, you know, we can make this fun, you know. <laughs> she said, it had to be drab and dry. I said, okay, well. And she came up with some good ideas. She said, we could do uh, uh, some games throughout the month of October to help, um, help Bible study go a little better and help us be more engaged. So tonight, we're going to do uh, Jeopardy, Bible Jeopardy. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I am I'm not a, a Jeopardy person. <laughs> <laughs> Me either. You're going to have a team. You're going to have a team. So you okay. have to do it by yourself. I'm going to let Christina um, share the rules since she had the great idea. <laughs> um well we well, like i said we will have teams two teams um and e each team will have an opportunity to guess the question um and if you get it wrong the other team gets a chance to get it to get it to answer the question of course, we all know Jeopardy. Uh, when the statement is presented, you have to ask in question form. So if you don't ask in question form, you can't get the answer. So um, the team, uh, so we're going to pick teams. And um, each person on that team will have an individual chance to answer. So for instance, if we had myself, Reverend Skinner, and Sister Smith, I would try to answer the, and it was my turn, and I, I would try to answer. But if I could not answer, I would ask my team to help me. And then we have, I think, 10 seconds, perhaps, to answer the question. And then if we don't answer in that 10 seconds, myself or my team, then it moves to the next team. And if they don't get it right, we move on. Okay, so um, tonight is both about having fun as well as learning. So 
after each question, we want to have just a little conversation about the question uh, so that we can just have a little more knowledge. Um, <clears throat> and after each, set, each category, we may talk about it a little more too. Um, so we ask that you would not use Google. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess I don't we'll do. me. No. <laughs> Again, we're all learning. This is for fun. You know, we just want to have a little more deeper knowledge in the Bible. Um, anything I missed, Christina? Anything I, I don't think so. Anything I left out? If you did, we'll figure it out as we go along. <laughs> okay. Well, um, outside of myself, looks like we have five now. Brother Holland was here. He <laughs> cut out on us. Um, so. We got six. I know the answers, so I know you're not. Oh, oh. <laughs> I can't <laughs> play. I'm just, I'm Alex Trebek tonight. <laughs> I'm Alex Trebek, so. Well, uh, what, so, Christine, are you playing? Yeah, I'm playing. Oh, okay. No judgment zone. <laughs> you all my life. Hey, after this, after the, these past three weeks, if I know my name, I'm doing good. So Thanks. you get no judgment from me. Okay. Well, um, how do we want to do the teams? I mean, do I have to have a team of three and the team of two? It can just be two. three and two, and then if somebody else joins in later, we'll add it to the team. Okay. I got my mama. Okay, there you go. The <laughs> yeah. Me and my mama against the world right now. Right. And, we got, and we got Jesus, so I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and if anybody else comes in, they'll be on your team. And uh, just keep adding, you know. No pressure, mom. No pressure whatsoever. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> I need a team name, and so do we. What's your team name gonna be? Oh, sitting on top of the world. All right. All right, y'all. Come on, uh, creative sister Smith. <laughs> I know she got something. Not tonight. No, I'm not tonight. Okay. Mm hmm. I'm barely making it, y'all. Hang in there. Hang in there. I'm here. Hang, here. Hang in there. Now, you, know I must have, you know you ain't heard me, so you know I must have been something, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Well, I, I'll, I'm playing, though, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to give it what I got. <laughs> we, we got you. Uh, okay. I think we should call us the throat. Just kidding. <laughs> Me, because we all sing. And my band, I had a band professor that used to call voice majors the throats. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Christina, I'm not good with stuff like that. Your turn. <laughs> right. It's at the throat. It's where all we all sing. Uh, the voice is praised. He said the voice is the praise. <laughs> we're going to fool around. We're going to actually. Oh, my God. The voice is the praise. <laughs> Worship and praise. Wow. Oh, wow. 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 I said worship and praise. <laughs> which is actually James Hall's group. <laughs> okay. So so we got to. Oh, God. Back. So, Brother Holland, you on the Hancock's team. Is you. Reverend Hancock, Sister Hancock, as a team, we're playing Jeopardy, all right? Okay, we're going to be called Jesus Freaks. That's our team. We got Jesus Freaks, and what's the other team? Sitting on top of the world. Sitting on top of the world. All right. Well, let's just let's just, just dive right into it. Whose team, who's, who's going first? We are. We are. What kind of okay. question is that? <laughs> what? <laughs> Sitting on top of the world. You going first. All right. Can everybody see the screen? Mm -hmm. I think I just had a, I just had a panic attack. <laughs> oh, are you Lord. just gonna call somebody from the team? So, uh, Pastor, are you just gonna pick who go first and all that? 
go to rotation. Mm -mm, Trey might give me some answers. Hold on, give me bring him back. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, so you, you all need to decide the rotation. Um, one person goes. Um, all right, mom, you got it. You go first. You pick first. No, you go first, Sister Hancock. We can help you. The categories the, the, for the, the whole cat, the, the entire um, Jeopardy tonight will be on the Bible composition. That's what our Bible study tonight is: Bible composition. Now, is that at the doctoral level, or the people still down here no, on the no, ground? No. It's <laughs> everybody. It's everybody. Okay. Some okay. some will be multiple choice. Oh, praise God! Come yeah. Now. Yeah. Come now. <laughs> <laughs> so you have that option. So the categories are Bible translations. The major prophet, divisions of the Bible, Bible composers, and blackout. Oh boy! So, which one you want, sister? Um, let me see. Ooh. Uh, Bible composers. Or for how much? I'm look. I ain't like the people on Jeopardy. I'm gonna start at one hundred. Okay. Amen. <laughs> Bible composers for a hundred. The author of the book of Hebrews. Oh man, I was just reading that. You got five, uh, ten seconds. I can't remember. Your teammates can help you, right? Yeah. Okay, help me, Shannon. Don't ask me. I'm talking about Brother Holland. <laughs> oh, Holland. Oh, oh, that's why Brother Holland's down there. You got an answer? Uh, Paul. Oh, we, have to, we have to do it in the form of a question? Yes. Who is Paul? I'm going to help Brother Holland. Um, that is partially incorrect. So we're going to still incorrect. The other team, y'all get a chance to get the question. Oh, we got minus 100 already. Worship and praise, you got to. Who's all the Hebrews? We're the Jesus freaks, actually. Thank you. I'm sorry. Jesus freaks. I'm sorry. All right. Hebrews. I was just reading that somewhere. The author of, the author of Hebrews generally said is unknown. Uh, some, oh. some theologians believe it's Paul. Some theologians believe it's others. So the general consensus, consensus is that we don't have a, um, uh, an author. The author's anonymous for this. And we should we, both get points because we wait. didn't know. We, wait. Oh. We, we want to know. Here's, about, here's the struggle, right? It's the whole Bible. Who knows? Who knows? That, that's what I'm going to say for the rest of the night. I don't oh, know. <laughs> wait a minute. And if the writer's unknown, how do we come up with a, I guess we could have said unknown. Yeah, you could have said a no. Okay. I hey, I should have gone and answered and followed my thought because I yeah. hadn't read that. So I, 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 I'm gonna do better. Uh, who are you, meet? Jesus freaks? All right, Jesus freaks is your turn. Uh, no one's on on the board with anything. So what you got? Who's going first? Rebecca, Reverend Skinny, you uh, on mute if you talk. If you talk. Okay, I have a couple questions. Number one, who's team one? And who's team two? Team one is the one who just went first. Okay, so we're team two. And then yeah. also, uh, so Thais is on our team, or she's not playing? I guess I could be on your team, oh. sure. I just, I just got on, so yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I can go first. Let's see. Can y'all, did you see the Jesus freak and sit on top of the world? Okay, good. Yeah. I would like to do Bible translations for 100. All right, Bible translation for 100. The, the original, original language of the New Testament. I want to, um, what is Arab, uh, Ar Aramic? What is Arabic? Mm -hmm. um, that's incorrect. Other team, the next team, uh, Jesus Freaks, you got an answer? What is Greek? Yeah. But it's Greek, Jesus Freaks. I mean, Jesus sitting Freaks. on top of the world, 100 points on the board. 
I knew that. My first mind. So in this Jeopardy, we can't lose points. Is that uh, that's a good thing? Yeah, I didn't want to lose. Unless yeah. you, I didn't want to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to. No <laughs> <laughs> we want to make it easy. Okay, so we got a hundred. Okay. All right. Um, sitting on top of the world. What you got? Who's next? Um, Brother Holland, you want to pick? Oh, okay. Uh, I'll pick profit for one hundred. The major profit for one hundred. Isaiah is known as the weeping prophet, the prince of prophets, the, lam the lamenting prophet, the voice that's crying in the wilderness. Anybody have an answer? Do you Absolutely. have an answer? Absolutely. What you got, Mom? The weeping prophet? That's incorrect. I said oh. the voice crying in the wilderness. Oh. That's incorrect. The weeping prophet. The prince of prophets. Yeah. The weeping prophet is Jeremiah. The prince of oh, prophets okay. is Isaiah. There's no lamenting prophet. I just made that up. And the voice crying in the wilderness is John. Mm. So we learning, we learning. You learn it. Okay, that's good. <laughs> okay, so why is he called the Prince of the Prophet? Prince of the Prophets because he's the first of the major prophets, the longest book. Uh, and he has he goes into the most depth. So that's why they call him the prince. Yeah, I didn't get that in Sunday school. You must have got that someplace else. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I think I got it in um uh, I get it in. Time for studies, probably. Uh, All right. Okay. <laughs> hey, wait, wait. These cannot be pastoral questions, okay? We are not clergy. We're not the cleric. It's you are not the cleric. Everybody breathe. It's learning. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. We're not the cleric. You are ministers in your own right. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Jesus Freaks, where we at? Who's next? I'm going to do it next time. Sister Smith, you go next. All right. I will do, let's see. Let's try Division of the Bible for 100. Divisions of the Bible for 100. Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel. What are the major prophets book, of the books? What are the major, what are the books of the major prophets? Yes, absolutely. Just talked about it. Shouldn't have said it. <laughs> I gave y'all an answer. <laughs> All right, Jesus freaks. What we got? You just wait. Are we, are we get going again? Yeah. Are we going back and forth, or are we going those who got it right? I think I we did. We going back and forth. Oh well, if that's the case. Yeah, so then they should have went again. Yeah. We got missed. Right. Okay, well let's go back we'll and go forth back then. Forth. Let's just yeah. go back and forth. All right, sitting on top of the world. Oh, that's on me. Can we do? Uh, Go big or go home. Give me the visions of the Bible for 300. <laughs> All right. <Woo! laughs> He's going big, y'all. He's going big. The Gospels and the Synoptic Gospels. Mm, the Gospels and I don't know what are, uh, here, what are Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John? Yes. That's the Gospels. You got Synoptic. Gospels. And if you include synoptic, it would be Acts. But I would argue that from what I know, but that's what I'm going with. Out of out of those three, what are the synop out of those four? Those are the gospels. Out of those four, what are the synoptic ones? Hmm. Uh Matthew, Mark. No, 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 no. Matt, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Matthew's partial. Matthew, Mark, and John, I think. I think I forgot. <laughs> so the Gospels are Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and the Synoptic are Matthew, Mark, and Luke. John is not a part. Of <laughs> oh, John, John is not a Synoptic Gospel because oh, because John talks about okay, yeah, yeah, I still don't. Okay, I, hold on, I, hold on, I, hold on. I still don't agree. 
Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. so Matthew, Mark, and Luke start at Jesus' birth. Yeah. John starts, John 1 and 1, in the beginning. In the beginning. Okay. Gotcha. So it starts from the creation of time. So that's why they don't add John. Yeah. Pastor, I'm going to be the question person next time. I'm, I'm hey, going to test no. you. No, no, don't let go. No. Mama stuff be real hard. No, don't. I know. I play <laughs> at. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we know Mike can get her stuff. <laughs> I'm going to the kids' book. Nope. <laughs> All right, Jesus Freaks uh, sitting on top of the world got a hundred, and Jesus Freaks got a hundred. Man, y'all, we struggling. Come on, y'all, come on. Let's, get on the board. Let's go. Uh, Bible translations for two hundred. Bible translations for two hundred. The original language of the Old Testament. One hundred was New Testament, right? What? Uh, huh? Can we discuss with our team? You got ten seconds. Okay, what y'all think about Hebrew? That's what I thought. I was thinking too. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Back. What is Hebrew? Yes. It's Hebrew. Jesus freaks on the board. Three hundred points. I thought we had a similar question before. Okay. It oh, was yeah. a New Testament. New Testament. Okay. And that was Greek. Right, New Testament's original language is in Greek. Original of the Old Testament is in Hebrew. All right, uh, sitting on top of the world. It's on you, Mom. Um, I don't know. Oh, let me see. Oh, uh, I, I don't. What does blackout mean? Just pick it. It could be anything. <laughs> Well, you better know the answer, so I'm going to take Blackout for 100. I'm on it. Here we go. All right, Blackout for 100. The number of years. Oh, Jesus. Mom, you know this one. You tell me this. Between <laughs> the book of Malachi and Matthew are 50, 200, 400, or 5,000. 400. In the form of a question, what is it? Oh, what is 400 years? What is 400 years? Wow. Absolutely. Good job. That's awesome. Sitting on top of the world. So yes, between the book of Malachi and the book of Matthew, there are 400, 400 years. years. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Um, no, I Don't they need an extra 100? They, they went for 100. Oh, they that was a 100. Oh, my bad, my bad. All right, come on, uh, Thais. Um, ooh. I don't know that list. Let's see. Bible translations for 300. Why not? Bible translations for 300. The name of the most recent scrolls that were found that were used for scripture translation and the year it was found were? Oh, Jesus. The Dead Sea Scrolls in 1947. <laughs> The Psalm Scrolls in 1947, the Dead Sea Scrolls in 1847, or the Psalm Scrolls in 1847. Uh, All right. I think it might be C. I, C, yeah. I was thinking C. Who else was thinking C? Christina, Sister Smith? What do you think? I was thinking like in 1947. Or you guys think that's like too late in time to find? Scripture? I think. Uh, I thought that might have been too late. Okay, but I don't know. Okay. Well, let's go with C. Let's go with C. Mom? He might have stepped away. Mom yes, left. Okay, what is the Dead Sea Scrolls in 1847? That's incorrect. Dang it. Um, sitting on top of the world. What the, is Dead, the Dead Sea Scrolls in 1947? You were right, Christina. You could have told us. I know. But but that's very good though, because you wouldn't think that scrolls, scripture translation would be found in our time, but they right. were yeah. 1947, they found um the Dead Sea Scrolls. Yeah, you gotta look at all the uh things that come on TV to talk about that kind of stuff. 
I knew it was the Dead Sea Scrolls, but I didn't know. I I don't know. The year just seemed like it was just too exactly. yeah. really recent. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. That's a Bible study all in itself, boy. Yep. Yeah. He's a, yeah, right. Jesus, who got that sitting on top of the world? Sitting on top of the world got that 300 points. Okay. Uh oh, they took the lead sitting on top of the world. Hey, come on. <laughs> right. Get him, Christina. <laughs> I'm partial. I'm Alex. I'm partial. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, who's next? Uh, Brother Holland is on you. Uh, let's go profit uh, for 200. Major profit for 200. The name given to the book of Isaiah because of its similarity to the Bible. Hmm. Name given to the book of Isaiah because of its similarity to the Bible. Anybody know? Hmm. Hmm. Mm -mm. Jesus freaks, you got an answer? <laughs> no. Um, I don't know. <laughs> All right. What is a miniature Bible? Where did you get this question from? I, I never heard of that. <laughs> Thank you. We'll talk about it more once we get through the category because I don't want to give away any, any uh, but we'll talk about it more at the end. A miniature Bible. Hmm. Right. I never heard that either. All right, Jesus freaks. All right, uh, let's go. Um, Is it my turn? Oh, who turned where, it? Where you been? Oh, well, I had to get off for a minute. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. I um, didn't do it. Okay, let's go to um, hmm, divisions of the Bible, four hundred. Wow, you going big, going home, huh? Okay. Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Songs, oh. Songs are A, the Pauline Epistles, D, B, book, D, books of poetry. Yes. Right, you, you didn't even need to go there then, huh? Well, that's to... right. It we knew that way. Form of a question. <laughs> oh, you're right. You're absolutely right. What are the books of poetry? <laughs> <laughs> right. You're right. Our four hundred boys. Well, I wasn't sure we had to put it in the question since you had the, uh, you know, the the multiple choice. But okay, so oh, good. Right. Jesus freaks on the board with seven hundred. They took back the lead. Woohoo! All righty, let's get it. Uh, <laughs> sitting on top of the world. Man, that major prophet has not been my friend. Let's uh, <laughs> dang, let's uh. What was the black guy? I forgot what the black guy question was already. Let's try the visions of the Bible for 200. Let's end that one. Okay. Visions of the Bible for 200. The first five oh, books yes. of the Bible, and, and, and be mindful of the category. Divisions of the Bible, the first five books of the Bible. Oh, oh, okay. Wait, don't say, well, what? Wait, this is not our answer. This is my discussion with my team. Do not give me the first five books of the Bible by it by their names, but what are they as a group? Does anybody remember? Um, uh, <laughs> yep, like <laughs> right here. He yeah. up. Dang. <laughs> get it, Rebecca. Get it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, you got it. It, I, I'm just playing. I think it's what is uh what is the oh, history? Is it done? Is, he, is, is it sitting on top of the world done? Yeah, obviously. Our 10 seconds were up. Okay. <laughs> we're, we're out. We got Jesus Freaks. What is, is it, uh, let me come from a team. It's what is the history, the history something, ain't it? Uh, Torah. No, no. What is the Pentateuch? Torah. Oh, I thought it was a Torah. The I don't know what it is. Oh, you have already given all them answers. What is the Torah? Or the Pentateuch. Yeah, I was like, that's the same word. It's the same thing. Torah or Pentateuch. Yes. Yeah. I don't even know. Yes. All right. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right. I Jesus freaks. Nine hundred sitting on top of the world. Five hundred. Everybody going once on Jesus freaks, right? Mm -hmm. oh. It's your turn, babe. All right. Okay, y'all. What should I pick? Uh, do blackout. Blackout for two hundred. 
All right, blackout for 200. The name given to the years between the book of Malachi oh. and Matthew. So we know it's 400 years, but yeah. we don't. I don't know. Dude. There's a name? The dark years? Don't be Google. For those who just, just got on, no years? Google, please. No Google. Yeah. No Google. Okay, what you think? For those who just got on. Come the on. silent years, maybe? Since there was no nobody talking? I'm just making up something. I don't know. Like, Mama? Sister Smith, you know? Is he leaving? Uh, uh, oh, my goodness. Uh, it's not. All right, two seconds is coming up, y'all. Yeah. I, it's up. It's up. It's up. It's up. It's up. It's up. One. All right. Um, get out of there. Sitting on top of the world. The name given to the years between the book of Malachi and Matthew. Mom is fussing at Soji. Brother Holland, you got something? <laughs> you better get out of there. Let's try it. Well, I, I'm going to steal it. What are the silent years? I think it's all something. What are the years of silence? Absolutely right. Good job. Christina, if you don't start believing in yourself. Right. Oh my goodness. Now look, now that's the second one. Now. Come on, come on. Get, hey, can I click this plus button for you? Oh, right, I'm sorry, there you go. Right. That is hilarious. <laughs> All right. Come on, get up. 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 Come on, um, let's go with the um, major profit for 300. All right, major profit for 300. The number that links the chapters in Isaiah to the Bible. That links the chapters to the Bible. I don't know. Anybody? Else? I, I don't. I don't know. I've never heard that actually. I guess it's just the number of chapters uh, in Isaiah. Uh, what is three? I, yeah, I don't know. I've never heard that question. So. What is three? No, that's not correct. Correct. Uh, Jesus freaks. You got an answer? I don't know. What is 41? What are the 66 oh. chapters of Isaiah and the 66 books in the Bible? Well, that was pretty obvious. Uh, yeah. See, that ain't fair, because if Trey wasn't acting the fool, I had the answer. I'm sorry. Uh, did you really? I promise I did. Oh, my God. I will. Okay. Okay, let's keep it moving. Um, sitting on top of the world with 700, Jesus Freaks with 900. Jesus Freaks, it's your turn to pick. Is it my turn? Oh, who's turning? Christina? Um, let's do, uh, <clears throat> let's do, oh, burgers. Okay, what's I want to do? <laughs> um, let's do, let's do Bible composers for 300. Bible composers three hundred. We got we got Sam. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. The the one the one who most often is credited for canonizing the Bible is A, the Council of Nicaea, B, the Council of Bishops, C, the Roman Catholic Church, or D, none of the above. Can we know what canonizing means? Does anybody know what canonizing means? No. I, I, I feel so. Sam don't say nothing. What's he wrong? Sam. <laughs> you all said it, Sam. Sit on top of the world. <laughs> oh, I, I you said, have any idea? What is none of the above? I would say then, if 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 that's not right for you all, it's the Council of Nicaea. Okay, so they get so here. so. What's who, who's we, answering we, the question? We went with none of the above. So. What is what is none of the above? Yes. All right. Thank you, mother. But sister George, you was on track because I was taught that the Council of Nicaea canonized the Bible. Well, they, they, did not canonize. they did the creed. They, they did not canonize it. 
Right, exactly. But I was Can taught. Somebody tell me what canonized I was taught at the right, what is canonized? Canonized means to mean can, canon means a measure of standard. A measure, to, yeah. To take in and take out what goes in the Bible. The Bible is, is done from Genesis to Revelation means to uh, what's what's going there and what's going in there uh, oh, okay. and staying in there and after everything that was we'll talk a little more at the end because I don't want to give away answers to upcoming questions. But I promise yeah. you, we won't talk about what it means. <laughs> so that was that was a good guess, uh, Sister Joyce, and uh, good job, uh, Jesus freaks with twelve hundred on the board. All right, come on, sitting on top of the world, we gotta get going. Hey, uh, brother Holland, I think it's on you. Uh, let's do um, Bible. Composers for 400. Bible composers for 400. The author of the Acts of the Apostles is A. Luke, B. Barnabas, C. Paul, D. All of the above. I got an asterisk. Whatever he answers, I have an asterisk. I promise you, I do. But go ahead, brother. What do you think of it? Wait, we we talking? Uh, who I is C? Paul. That's the, I. I would venture to say um, Luke and Paul, potentially Barnabas, which is why I have the asterisk. But I think it's it's typically been given to um, Luke. It's called Luke Acts. So I'm go, I would say Luke. Y'all, would y'all agree with me? Y'all save, save me, save me right here. Well, since you got, um, since you got, you said two parts to the aspect, it's going to be D, all of the above, because everybody had a hand in it. I don't think Barnabas wrote nothing. I don't think Barnabas did. I mean, not go, like that. Yeah. I'm going to go, what is, who is Luke? Let's try that. And if Sam, you write, I owe you. <laughs> uh, Jesus Reeks. Oh, so that's incorrect. Uh, is there, is there, is there, is there, is there, you're telling me the answer's wrong. <laughs> all right, so I'll, let's do all of the above. It is, all, it is what is all of the above. That, it, huh. Now, Barnabas didn't have any hand in writing. That's but, but see, but there, yes, but there has, but you know what? It depends on who you read. Because some people say, yes, he did. Some people say, yes, he did. Well, well, then it doesn't count with us because we don't know who said yes and who didn't. <laughs> So y'all, y'all don't get that one. You ain't got no proof. You ain't got There's no proof. No proof. <laughs> some said, some said, oh, no, it don't work like get, that. Get the mama. Yeah. Get the it's, mama. It's majority. <laughs> yeah, the majority hey, of the act. Hey, thank y'all. Hey, thank y'all for cheering me up. Thank you. You had it, Reverend. You should have went with your first thought, Reverend got. But but the majority of acts is written by Luke, and there is some written by Paul, and there is evidence that Barnabas has some too. So at least at the, at the least, Luke and Paul uh, had had some hand in it. So my bag, Sam. I'm gonna trust you. You got it. Next time. That man. That man must have did a period or a punctuation mark or something. Because. <laughs> All right, it is on Jesus Freaks. Um, let's black it out at for four hundred. And how much? They trying to take us out, y'all. Dang. <laughs> we ain't got a chance. Ain't yeah, that, 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 that's, what happens, that, that's what happens with them non Christians. They be doing stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to answer none of these questions. No, no, no. Hey, we can't post this because they're like, oh, this is the church. Really? This <laughs> <laughs> is non Christian. Yes, yes, it is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, that wh- whose turn is that? I'm going to turn. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus freaks. Uh, Thais. So Thais, that which it's occurred historically between the years of the book of Malachi and Matthew is Israel falling away from God. The Roman Empire took control of Jerusalem. The stage was set for the coming of Jesus Christ. All of the above. All of the above. That's what I think. Oh, D. What do you D. Think? All of, what is all of the above? Yes. That all sounds about right. So this occurred between the book of Matthew and Mal- Matthew, Malachi and Matthew, the four hundred, also called the four hundred years of silence. Uh, Israel um, 
uh, fall away from God further. Uh, the Roman Empire took control of Jerusalem. <clears throat> and then the sta basically the stage was set for Jesus to come back. You know how they, the disciples wanted Jesus to come back and take control over Rome and, 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 and become king. And Jesus was like, no, I'm not becoming king of this world. My, king, my kingdom is in, over there. So <clears throat> all this occurred between those years of silence. What you mean come back? You mean the first time? Oh, I'm sorry. What, what do you mean? The first time, yes, yes, the first time. Say, what are you talking about? <laughs> the coming Messiah, yes. The first, the first time. The first time, yes. All right. Jesus Street's got 2,000 points sitting on top of the world, 700. It's your I turn. Need these, I need all the of world. the last floor. Pick one, Sam. <laughs> um, let me get my, uh, Major Prophets 400. Major Prophets 400. Sam. The relationship between the chapters of Isaiah and the books of the Bible is alphabetical, chronological, topical, or numerical. You can get help from us if you're not sure, Sam. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's been a minute since I've been in seminary, so y'all need to help me a little bit. Man, it's been a minute since I've been in seminary. What's your I've never gone, so. <laughs> so here, here's my thought. Based upon the previous conversation and the previous thing is that it would be numerical because of the relationship between the chapters with the 66 and the books of 66. So that would mean numerical, right? Yeah, yeah, I would think so. It would be numerical. But it couldn't have been, I don't think chronological, that would be something, like events that had to happen before the event, the event, the event. So that probably wouldn't be it. So you want to go numerical? What is numerical? That's our yeah. Let's go What is numerical? What do you mean by numerical? Like one, two, three, four, like five, six. That's what's up on the board. That's <laughs> what you numerical, 66 and 66, which is the previous question. Okay. You saying that's incorrect? Yes, I'm saying that's incorrect. They don't, they don't, even, they don't even make sense. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't make sense. And then the only other thing would be what is chronological? Logical. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that was my first instinct too. I said I should have said chronological. Yeah, you gonna have to teach a whole thing on that. What? Yeah, that makes Z. Because I don't know none of these answers. So here we are. And, and, and where did you do seminary? I mean, where did you do your doctorate at? I need to know that for real. So the, the, <laughs> the point the point of this oh is God. that Isaiah directly links to um, the Bible. There's 66 books in the Bible. And there's 66. Uh, yeah, chapters, chapters in Isaiah. There, there's also um, the first 39. Cha How many books are in the Old Testament? 39. 39. Yeah. The first 39 chapters in Isaiah uh, relate to the, to the first 39 of the Bible, which is the Old Testament, which is God's wrath. And the last 27 correlate with God's forgiveness and redemption just like the New Testament does. And we can even go even further to say, let me see if I can share my screen. I ain't playing next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going home. Ah, this is the way we learn, Mom. This is cool. Can you see, well, uh, learn some can you see the screen right now? Yeah. yeah. It also even goes even further, and, and each chapter is said to correspond with each book of the Bible. For instance, Isaiah chapter 1 says, except the Lord of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant, we shall have been as Sodom and we should have been like unto that Gomorrah. First book of Genesis was the first book of the Bible. It talks about Sodom and Gomorrah. Second chapter of Isaiah, which is correlates with second book, talks about gold and idols. You can keep going down to Isaiah chapter 40, talks about the voice crying in the wilderness. Matthew, the 40th book of the Bible, talks about a voice crying in the wilderness. So you see that relationship between Isaiah mm -hmm. and the Bible? You see, you see that? Yeah. Can you, um, can, 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 is this like school? Can, can you say this to me? Sure. <laughs> but the point is, Isaiah, that relationship is there mm -hmm. uh, between Isaiah and the Bible. I don't know if, how many knew that, but I saw that. I was, I, amazed. I was like, wow. 
I did not know that. So basically, you can read Isaiah, the whole chapter of Isaiah, and get the gist of the whole Bible. I knew you was going to say that. And you can <laughs> read the rest of the Bible tight. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't got nothing to do with <laughs> I'm so glad that my friends know me. <laughs> Hey, the, the abbreviated version. Right. right. So basically, Isaiah is the cliff notes. Is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> that's, that's a good way to look at it. But that's but, but, but uh, there's a good there's a correlation there that I was you know just amazed about that it goes down to wow. Yeah. Cynthia Lewis is on here and she sent it to me and I didn't see it and she said she said B so she went to she went to a uh, seminary with with pastor because <laughs> <laughs> oh, she had some really good people teaching in uh, conference studies or something. Man, I missed it. All right, Jesus freaks. Y'all just keep on moving up, moving up. I'm not playing with y'all no more. Mm. I'm just telling you. This <laughs> is thrashing, boy. Dang. All right, Jesus freaks, it's your turn. Uh, I think, ain't it Christina's turn? Let's go with Bible composers for 200. Bible composers for 200. The term used to describe the church's action to create the official list of books in the Bible. Canonize, right, y'all? What is canonizing? Yeah. You gotta put it into the question. What is the canon or to canonize? Yeah. That's what I didn't want to talk about because I gave you the answer. But, but, <laughs> mm. very good. To, uh, to canonize means to take action and to what goes in and what goes out. So what was the Bible composers? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Canon. Canon. Um. So let's. I want to talk about just. I want to talk just a little bit at this point. When we talk about the Bible canon. Um. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I was taught that the Council of Nicaea to canonize the book, uh, in conference studies, and that in my own studies, that's not true. The Council of Nicaea did meet, but they didn't meet to put the Bible together. It was on something else. Um, the credit is really not given to one, indi one individual person or one individual group. Uh, for my research, it says that uh, no single church or authority uh, put together the Bible or canonized it. Um, but it was a longer process. Uh, from the first... Uh, first through the fourth centuries and beyond, different church leaders and theologians made arguments about which books belong to the canon, often casting their opponents as heretics. Over time, the books that were deemed authentic and authoritative by the communities who used them were included in the canon and the rest were discarded. The bulk of the editing was ended in the late 300s. So it, it, the canonization of the Bible really was done in a community effort by the Christian church, <laughs> by the church. I have, a, uh, I have a question. So so what about the books that's not in the Bible? I know in the Catholic church, they got all like, you know, the book of Enoch, all them things. So that's not really uh, Maccabees too. That's coming back to me. Yeah, like. Right. And that's not and those books don't like do those do they like do they really happen or is it just like did it or those just books we don't recognize as church like did it happen or like mm -hmm. like the Maccabees was written I believe in during the years of silence the four hundred years of silence and the Christian church said that those books were like fairy tales and it didn't offer much spiritual support uh, for the church so the Protestant Christian church did not. Uh, accept those books and put them to part of the canon book. They they are written for the Catholic Church, but the Protestant Protestant Christians don't recognize them as the canonized scripture, as the word of truth from God by ins by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. The entire Bible, from Matthew to Romans, was inspired by the Holy Spirit to these certain writers like Paul and so on and so forth. And no, yeah, cause, cause, also, oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Sam. No, I was thinking like because the story of Maccabee, like it reminds me of three hundred a little bit, and it's like that has nothing to do with the Bible, like because it was like like battling all the time with swords and stuff like that. Right, right, yeah, right. Wait, let's see if you talk about that. No, I was gonna say there's been a lot of discussion about even King James and how he even had the you know that whole idea about how the Bible was put together. So those canon, uh, and there are a lot of there are you know there are a lot of uh a lot of people that have the, the, those extra books of the Bible and they say 
they feel that they shouldn't have been a part of the Bible. So, Absolutely. I mean, you know, there's been a lot, yeah. of, a lot of discussion about, uh, you know, King James and how he, he actually had that Bible put, the Bible put together. So, you know. I think, that, got, got I, think that Isaiah, huh? I think that Isaiah really reflects the truth of the Bible because it has 66 Bibles. Isaiah was written you know, maybe way before the entire Bible was canonized. And uh, how Isaiah has 66 books and how the entire has 66 books, the entire Bible. And then how the New Testament represents that. And I think Isaiah kind of shows, I don't know, the, how the truth of the canonized Bible that we have right now, you know, it, it, it kind of gives inspiration to how the canonized Bible was, how the Bible was canonized. Um, you know, I try to stay away from a lot of, I, I have a couple of people that will just argue you down about the, the, the origin of the Bible, but I try to stay away from that. I, I just accept that we got 66 books and I go with it. <laughs> And that's one way, but the reason why we're doing this tonight is so that you don't have to be, so that you can be aware of how the Bible came together. How did the Bible come together? Who put it together? You know, how, what, what do you mean by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit? You know, this is the book, the Bible is how we live our lives. It is our guidebook. It is uh, our truth. And we got to understand its composition. We got to understand how it came, because you're going to get questions, you know, from people from all walks of life when it comes to the Bible and what they believe. So it's good that we not only uh, have inspiration from the scriptures, but have understanding of how the scriptures came together. So that but when you have so many Bible. translations, you know, what, what do you go from? I mean, sometimes I've, you know, I've been in some, around a couple of people, two or three, and, you know, everybody in the group has a different translation. And so sometimes that causes some, well, how do you know your, your translation is correct? Or how do you know your translation is correct? I want uh, to talk about that after we answer that last question of Bible translation, because I don't want to give away the answer. Oh, okay. So is, if it's on the sitting on top of the world's team, you can pick that. Pick <laughs> yeah. it. Pick it. Bible translation for four. Okay. okay. Uh, the year... Oh. That the in New Living Translation was written, and I'll give you. Uh, I meant to put this. I meant to put uh, multiple choice on this one, but I forgot. So you got. Um, One thousand BC. You got nineteen forty-eight. You got 1996, and you got 2010. 1000 BC, 1948, 1996, 2000. I feel like it's between uh, B and C, those two years. <clears throat> so what you got uh, sitting on top of the world? Mm. I, it's uh, uh, my discussion is with my team is that like I graduated seminary in 2010 and it wasn't what NRSV was the thing then so I mean I'm thinking what what was C what was C uh 1996 <laughs> mom brother how long was I think oh he left 19 I, I, 1996. Um, I, I feel like well, was, Earth Mark. Wasn't it first published in 1996? I don't know. Let's try it. Maybe. What is 1996? I don't know. <laughs> Let's try it. So, yep. What is 1996? So now I can talk about. <laughs> so now I can talk about. Now you can talk about. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to give away that answer. So uh, when, talk, when it comes to translation, we talk about the Dead Sea Scrolls. They, were, they came around. 1947 which is very recent and the new living translation was translated from those texts uh the uh, dead sea scrolls um are one of the oldest <laughs> translations of the bible that we found it most recently so that's why the new living translation became a translation and that's why edits continue to happen in the new translation. You ever seen where you read something in the new translation and somebody says something a little different? 
because they have edits and they continue to edit it. Mm -hmm. uh, so and I, that's why I use a New Living Translation because it's translated from the oldest text, uh, even even older than the King James and older than in, in NASB and all that. That's why I use it because scholars are continuously breaking down what they just found and it can give you the best translation uh, possible. Uh, NASB is another good translation. I was told in seminary that that is a, another good translation if you want the exact meaning and deeper knowledge. Um, and NRSV, I think, is a, is a good one, too, if you're wondering what translations will. will. King James is good, is poetic, is poetic, you know, uh, but it doesn't always give the best translation. So when you read the word and you ask in class, when you have you studied the word, you know, that comes in studying. You know, looking at different translations and giving the, the, the proper understanding. And then I want to share with you um, internet. Uh, go to the internet. If you're studying the scriptures, biblehub.com. And you can type in, for instance, you know, Second Chronicles um, chapter 14, uh, verse 7. No, it's just seven fourteen. I can never remember. First Chronicles seven and fourteen. Uh, if my people will call by name and humble themselves and pray. So if you see at the top, you can click the Hebrew. The Old Testament was written in Hebrew. Hebrew. So you can click Hebrew, and it breaks down each part of that verse. So for instance, if you want to know what what do we mean by when it says will humble themselves? What do you mean by what is the, the original? Hebrew, you click the strong definition and it gives you the Hebrew original word and it gives you the exact definition by what they mean by humble themselves. So to bring down low uh, into subjection uh, under humble self subdued uh, properly bend one's knee. So to get a better understanding and better definition of the word and this gives you a more line with the Hebrew text. <clears throat> That's another way where you can study um, if, if, you know, you want to become a astute. <laughs> well, 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 the next time I deliver my message, I, I will buy the book. <laughs> you on for the first Sunday in November. Get ready. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to back you after this. I, late people, y'all have no excuse. Everybody's a preacher. Let's get it. <laughs> That's right. That is right. All right. Let's see if we can get done with this. Uh, we oh, got they didn't get, we didn't get points for can that. We get our points, so, oh, yeah, sorry. I mean, can we get our, our little I'm measly sorry. 400 points? I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, Jesus Freaks, you end in the night with blackout for 300. That which occurred biblically between the years what is up of, the book of Malachi <laughs> In Matthew. Now, is it that the Adam choices and the mother questions were in? Uh, that question was that question was that which occurred historically between the years. Oh, of snaps! This is that which occurred biblically. Let's see, between the years of the book of Malachi, which was 400 years. Would it be the birth of Jesus, y'all? So what? That's all the guys think of. What is the birth of Jesus? That's all. Oh, okay. Between the, okay, that is incorrect. Uh, <laughs> on top of the world. Let's, let's try, uh, what is, uh, the who, who got exiled? The exile of the, of the uh, Israelites? That would have been that would have been the last of the people, biblically, but I don't know. I've been off all night. Let's try. It. <laughs> <laughs> Not understood a thing all night. <laughs> what is no new biblical revelation? That's the reason why the years of silence is most significant. Because oh, that's a quick. No I was gonna say nothing. You should have said <laughs> <laughs> nothing happened. There was no, 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 no revelation from God. 
uh, biblically. So no, nothing was written. God didn't inspire anybody to write anything for. So that's what happened during those years. Okay, let's do a um, final Jeopardy round. <laughs> right. Final Jeopardy round. This is where you, the last, what they call it, the last question, the... Uh, what are the double your points? Right. You can uh, wager your points and um, you can answer this question. So team, you got to figure out how much I want to wager. All of it. Yeah, we got to do all of it to get a chance to have a chance. <laughs> I will give you the category Bible divisions. That's the category. So, team, what was it? Bible what? Division. division. So, how much you want to wager? Uh, sitting on top of the world. All of it. Eleven hundred. Is that a team consensus? Yeah. Yeah. All right. On top of the world is wagering all of their points. I Jesus said you think don't wager nothing. Right. <laughs> We're not wagering anything. Wait, 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 wait. You got to do at least uh, 400. <laughs> no, 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 no. You got to wager something. No. It's a minimum. It's a minimum. To get in this game, it's a minimum bet. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Hey, no hey y'all, we go. Hey y'all, we go. Wait, we gonna wager a hundred. Right, a hundred. We got one hundred. One hundred. All right. One hundred. All right. Um, name. And you probably need a pen and paper for this. I'll give you five minutes. Yes. Wait, we can't talk to each other though. We need paper. Oh, hold on. You put us in breakout room. Right. right. <laughs> Here's what I want you to do. Have a teammate text me your answer or something so we can just verify. That's what you got. Right. No, but we still got to talk. What's the question? I don't know how to do breakout rooms. I'm sorry. We don't have we don't have it for the same reason. We don't have but Somebody would have to make me the host. Okay. I'm like, or you can make me the host. I can do it real fast. You want me to host? And we get the question. Okay. Oh, okay. What's the question? How you uh, make me the host, and I'll put us in breakout rooms. Well, we need the question first. I know, but I can set it up while he's telling the question. All right. Oh, oh let me see if I, I don't know if I can do it because I'm a co-host. Hopefully. Name <laughs> the seven divisions of the Bible. No Google. No Google. Name seven. the seven divisions of the Bible. I can't make the uh, he has to make it all the I can't do it. you got it, text me so I know that you got it right. Have somebody text me. Y'all text me. Mama, you know the mama, you know the answers. No Google. Uh, Don't say nothing, team. Well, I got it. I got it. Just put us in breakouts. Let's get yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I can't put you in uh, the pastor had to uh, make you. You just say out and call one another. Something. Do something. <laughs> no, Pastor, can you I'll tell. I'll uh. I can't. If I make you I'll the whole, she can do the breakout. I'm. I'll text you. Yeah, she can do breakout. Okay. The chat. That'll take too long. Okay. Prayer meet. We got the class meeting at seven. Okay. 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 Okay.
Pastor, we just have to tell you the order of the divisions, right? Not what books are in what division, right? Right, now. right, right. And text me when you got it. Now, one more minute. Text me. You said text it to your phone? Text it to my phone or privately uh, in the private chat. chat. Either private one. Chat. No matter. Hello? Uh, let me just put it in the chat. It's easy. Okay, Pastor, I just put it in the chat to you. I got it. Thank you. Oh, please. Oh, I'm missing one. Log one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, uh, uh, I don't have it. I don't have it. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I got them. I got them off. I gave my team one thing, but then I don't think that ain't right. So, what y'all got? Cause I was go I, well, yeah, I was going law, history, poetry, prophecy. And then I was going towards something else, minor prophets, major prophets. Now I'm like, oh, all that's wrong. So, well, we'll go with what we got. Tell me what you got. Yeah, tell me, tell me what you got. I was trying. I thought I sent it. I need, no. I need a remedial Bible study class. Me and you both, obviously. <laughs> I, I love it. <laughs> uh, Bible study one on one. There you go. You in it now? Bible study one on one. <laughs> Well, I, mean, I need the 100 class. Cause <laughs> <laughs> 99. We need 99. <laughs> oh, Let's just stop it. Remedial. Boy. Algebra 99. <laughs> All right, go on. I left one off, sorry. I left, two, I left two off. There you go. I'm missing one though. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mama, if you're talking, we can't hear you because you're muted. Give me one you more. muted. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was saying I've, I've, oh. I've been at this longer than anybody that's on here, but I forgot the first half and trying to get the second half. I think that's, I don't know, that might not be right. Look, that's what I got right now. All right. Seven Here go. <laughs> Name the seven divisions of the Bible. You got the Torah or the Pentateuch or the Book of Law, however you want to say it. You got the books of history. And that's the books of Joshua yeah. through Esther. Yeah. All right. You got the prophets. Yeah. All right. Which is Isaiah through Malachi. Yeah. You got the gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. You have the epistles or letters. The writing. The church. And then finally, the book of the end or the book of revelation, however you want to say it. So, um, what y'all leave out? <laughs> we missed the, the epistles, the revelation, and the. Um, we missed the end. The no, I, this, oh, my team didn't see what I said. I had Torah, Judges, Poetry, Major Minor Prophets, Gospels, Revelation. That's what I said. So it looks like uh, Sit on Top of the World missed history, the books of history. Mm -hmm. And she should have combined the prophets. Yeah. And then uh, free, uh, Jesus Freak. The New Testament. That's what I, I didn't think about that. And then Jesus Freak missed the Revelation, the book of Revelation, or the mm -hmm. book of the end. Mm -hmm. And what else y'all missed? That's good work, y'all. We put the order, I think the history, we put the wrong place of history.